All right, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get the uh, OG Fortnite that is multiplayer on iOS easily within under a couple minutes. But before we start this video, make sure if you guys haven't already, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is go ahead to the link in the description. You're going to get to this link of about the iOS installation that's via EaseFM. So what you're going to do is just scroll down to the getting started area and check out their download page. You're going to click on the download, just click on the season seven and press install. Then it's going to make you complete these actions to unlock the link. So you just quickly click on one of them. Easily just close out the tab when you're done. And then do the other one. Just do the same thing, close out the link when you're done. Then you're going to press unlock content and it's going to ask you for an open in iTunes. You're just going to press open. Then it's going to ask you to install the ESFN. You just press install. Then when you go to your home screen, you'll see that EaseFN is installing. All right, while that's installing, we're going to go back to the original link, back to where that getting started is, and we're going to scroll down a bunch until we can find the uh, installing the DNS section. And you're going to click on the part where it says this in it, that is a different color to all the other text. You're going to click on that, and then you're just going to press allow, and then just press close on that. And as you can see, is a fence done but before we can open it because you'll just get this error right here you're going to head on to our settings scroll down to general and then we're going to scroll down again to vpn and device management and you're going to see that there's an enterprise app and a downloaded profile first thing we're going to do is install the profile we're just going to enter in our passcode so it installs you're just going to press install again then press install again and you can see that that profile is installed now, if we go to the Enterprise app, this is just going to be something that you're going to quickly press trust on. And then there you go. Uh, once you've downloaded a configuration profile and once you've trusted the Enterprise app, you're just going to make sure that on your DNS that it is set to EaseFN DNS. And then once that's done, all you're going to do is just click on the EaseFN Fortnite app and just wait for it to load. And just make sure that you press OK, depending if you're downloading it on cellular or Wi-Fi. Once you first load it, you will probably get an error around the 208 megabyte stage. All you gotta do is just let it pretend that it's failed and then just let it start again. And then it should just work fine and fully load up to the fully installed part. Once your Fortnite installs and loads up, you wanna click on the green little box next to login. Then you can click on Epic Games and you're gonna log in with your EaseFN email and password. And if you don't have an EaseFN email or password, uh, all you have to do is just go to the EaseFN website and sign up one via their website, which I'll also link in the description. Once you put all your details in, just press login and then it'll start signing you into the EaseFN. Once you start loading in, just accept to their terms of service. Then up to you, depending if you're going to play with other people to access your mic or not. And then after you choose however you want to use to fire your weapon, you're just going to press select, press got it, and then you're just going to head to the lobby. And then there you go. You've got basically every skin up until this current build, which is on, I think, 7.40. And then all you gotta do is just press on solo doors, which can either be a fill or no fill, and then just ready up and play. And after you're done playing EaseFN, all you need to do is go back into your settings and make sure in your general tab and down to VPN and device management that you change your DNS to automatic when you're not playing EaseFN. Uh, and that concludes today's video. So thank you guys all for watching. If you guys haven't already, make sure to like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and I'll see you guys all in the next video.